Hello, 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 my lovely peeps. Um, crap. Sorry for the sound issues. Uh, as you may have seen on the Twitcher, we are doing some tests tonight. Uh, so my setup is a bit different than what I, I, I normally am doing. And I don't think I set the audio up correctly on this machine, so that's why it's going to be acting up a bit, so sorry about that. Hold on, let me click back in the game. Um, yes, we are back tonight with some more Soma. I hope you guys have all had a, a wonderful Monday. Um, today is Mango Day, just so you all know, according to my calendar. Um, but yeah, we're going to load this up. Uh, let's see, Simon and Catherine have found the Dunbat, but it's been quarantined and they need to find someone who would know a security cipher so they can gain access. Only with the Dunbat will they be able to enter the Abyss and find the Lost Ark. Now, th while we're waiting for this to load, uh, just to kind of explain what's going on here and why we started late, I am currently streaming just through my, uh, actually hold on again. We are currently streaming just through my gaming computer. Normally I have it set up to where it's um, streaming through my other computer, so a, a two computer setup. Um, and that's why when I click out of the window it stops playing the game sound because like I said I don't think I set up the sound properly. Um, because I had to kind of hastily put this back together. Uh, I was bad and I, I didn't procrastinate per se. Uh, I was watching YouTube videos before I started and peeling off some of the price tag stickers on some of my games and I just got really involved with it and was not paying attention to the time. Health thingy, we're gonna leave that alone in case we need it. Um, but yeah. So far, the sound seems like it's already a bit better. I haven't changed anything since the last time we streamed in terms of settings. The only thing different is, um, I'm assuming this is like drawings over screenshots of stuff in the arc. I don't know. Um, Yeah, because it says render up there. That's cute, I guess. Um, I wanted to see if maybe there was like a lag being caused in between going from the one computer to the next why the audio is slightly off compared to everything else we do. I'm kind of hoping that's... That, that seems to be the case, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I need to see if maybe there's a way I can like... fix it, if, if at all. Um, but, yeah, the, the setup is, I mean, it's not much different from my normal setup, it's just, it's just different enough that I'm noticing. Oh, kitty, speaking of kitty, if my microphone picks up any weird noises, um, I actually moved my cat, finally, to my apartment last night, um, and she's still adjusting. We, oh, wait. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Serang and the continua continuity. I don't know why I have trouble with that word. Okay. Wait, what name was on this door? I don't remember what name was on this door. God damn it. Um. Yeah, this is neat. I really hate, though, that every time I pick up, like, a note and want to read it. It just kills my fucking flashlight. Martin Fisher, who is this? Robin Bass Base. So the this, the room of the What the fuck? Okay. Great. We probably have to go in there at some point. Shit. See, like, it sounds like the sounds just with the- Because I, I noticed even, like, my footsteps 
and picking things up seemed to be off when I was streaming through the other computer. Again, that's a little annoying if that's the case. But I'm starting to think that that's the case. Um, did we go down here? No, but we can't go downstairs this way. We can't go upstairs that way either. Shh. Um, so yeah, we're just basically testing to see if it's something wrong with the game or the machines. And it seems like just because of the nature of how I was streaming, that's what was causing um, some of the issues. Ah, crap. I'm assuming that this doorway up here leads to that hallway that we could see from the, uh, what's it called? The barracks? The, I'm just gonna say the barracks. I wanna go check the map. I'm also maybe just stalling a little bit. I'm, I'm a bit spooked. Uh, this game is spoopy for me. The, the atmospheric sounds do their job pretty well, in my opinion. Wanna say anything, Catherine? Yeah, see, even there, that seemed to be more in tune, like, in sync than, than before. This map isn't actually very helpful. So, me coming over here actually didn't do anything. Um, all it, all it did was let me talk to Catherine. Okay, okay. I I just wanted to check the the sound thingy, if you will. <sighs> That's a little bit annoying. I might have to go look up a fix for that, or we can only stream consoles through the other computer. There, I I had the two computers set up just to make it a bit easier. Or, well, what I assumed to be easier. Um, which, which is why I'm just annoyed. It's like, I don't know how to really put it into words. Um, but whatever. We're going to go up here, go into the hallway that obviously has something in it that I don't really want to deal with, but we have to deal with it eventually if we want to go anywhere. Um, as we kind of found out last game, or from what I remember, the enemies in this area function based off sound. Oh. See, yeah, the audio is actually playing on the subtitles popped up, not simulation assets. Uh oh. I picked up a thing. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Error, connection, error, troubleshoot. Let's troubleshoot. Error code 06FF0A12. Unable to connect to mainframe. Please reset router in the sub-level vault or contact maintenance. Ah. Okay. I mean, I knew we have to... I, I know we have to go down there either way. I just don't want to, because downstairs is scary. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The server room is one thing I definitely re remember from Cry's playthrough. What the? Yeah. Oh, I'll say, where am I supposed to be plugging this into? Fuck. I don't want to fix the mainframe connection. The mainframe. So I don't think I can do anything with any of these right now until I until I go downstairs and fix the stupid server issue. Downstairs is where all the bad shit is. Well, th nope. This. Uh, 
All right, well, so I need those two things for the puzzle later, but until I fix the issue downstairs where I don't want to go, I'm not going to be able to. Ah, so this room's important. I don't know if they should... Okay, there we go. Oh, pilot seat like diagram. That's fun. The other thing is with where my microphone or my boom mic is, it's kind of blocking most of the one screen that I'm using to play the game with, and that's kind of, you know, annoying. I don't think most people would be okay if they scan someone and then that person decided just to off themselves right in front of you. Especially if it was tied to a project you're so, um, con you know, closely connected to. Oh, let's see. The Nanami composition type compressed Nakajima neurograph continuous time 21 milliseconds captured March 12th, 2014, Nakajima Shin. Wasn't that one of the other doctors that was... Yeah, here's Munchie. Jarrett, that's us. Or, well, that's Simon. Subject name, Nanami. Sex, female. Birthday, December 11th, 1997. Death, July 17th, 2021. Wow. Nationality, Japanese. Why would we want to erase it? These are legacy scans. The pace files, bird, type compressed, blah blah blah, continuous time, six milliseconds, captured April 28th, 2015, David Munchie, by David Munchie, Paul Berg, that was the other doctor, Berg and Munchie, November 27th, died, 1984, died August 2nd, 2069, and he was Canadian, because yeah, we were from Toronto. Because I don't see it saying that it's picking up the audio. Is the audio coming through for the game? Ah, shit. Oh, oh, hold on. Like, one second. Uh, I don't even know how I'm going to test this. Uh, one minute. Okay. I should be back. This is going to be really weird for me how I'm, how I'm trying to test this. Okay, I just need to wait a second. I need to play like an audio clip or something. Oh shit, the audio is not coming through, is it? Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oop, sorry. I don't know why it's not. It should be. Why is it not getting the audio? Um, well this is annoying because I can't even go back and do anything. Like, I mean you can read the subtitles, but it's like you guys can't even hear the... 
the um, audio issues that I'm having. The hell game. It should be picking up the game audio, but it's not. Hold on, maybe I. Let's see if this does. Okay, let's see if this does it. Okay, there we go. Oh, my audio, the the audio settings are shifted around. I'm sorry about that. All right. I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. So close. Stormwire's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, okay, what are you gonna do? Right. I'm just gonna walk away from that. Pause it, actually. Alright, sorry about that. <sighs> I guess I didn't double check the audio settings before I came in here. Um, I mean, we'll listen to this again. I'm sorry. Just so it's here. Uh, Dusty, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Okay. Also, that might be really loud on your guys' end. I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. It say it keeps saying that it's peaking and I don't wanna like I don't know, blow out anybody's ears. Of course now my mic might be too loud. If anybody in the chat wants to tell me what's going on, that's cool. If not I'll pull up the <laughs> my head my other set of headphones and try and double check it, even though that's always weird. Uh, let's see, David Munchie, October 4th, 1980, he died May 23rd, 2078. But here's for me, or for Simon. I'm so sorry about that. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. The legacy scan. Okay, you're gonna tell me what the fuck that means? Captured May 2nd, 2015. Oh wow, I didn't- I, I only lived like another month? Shut up phone, after the scan? That's what it's saying in 2015. Not even a month. About? Only until the 1st of June, wow. Audio recordings. Post scan May 2nd, 2015. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It was freaky, so many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Yeah, that didn't last long, did it? Roadmap. We worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, you're getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. Yeah, this plan lasts all, all a week. Just a little over a week. Dang, that's sad. Last recording, June 1st. Oh shit. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. 
It's like a part of me lives on or something, like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Well, shit. I mean, What's I guess... Legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. I like how he, I mean, I'm sure it kind of dawned on him that he's been long dead, but he's not, like, he's not reacting to the fact that he only died a month after the scan that led to him being uploaded here now in the future. Like, that's a bit jarring, if you ask me. I mean, it, it kind of follows with the continuity thing. That version of Simon didn't get to do much more than the one that's living now because he was still in recovery or starting or working at it and it just didn't work. And he even said that he had all these plans that he wanted to do that he never would have the chance to do because things just didn't work out the way he wanted them to. But he gets to live on here now as the only, well, I guess copy, okay, and that's not the door that I thought it was. So that room wasn't actually as scary as I thought it was going to be. Unfortunately, uh, because we checked out everything, and I don't think we can go through that one locked door in the barracks. <sighs> I don't think, at least not right now. I don't remember. Um, that means we have to start heading downstairs, unfortunately. The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathworm already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon, don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Only sentient machines. Thinking they are people is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Those are good noises to hear. Wonderful noises. Right. Oh, great. And once we fall... Oh, no. We can climb? Can we climb? Okay, well, so yay. Once we fall down here, we're stuck down here. No, that's not the case. Thank fucking God. Also, hopefully we don't have a crash. I'm still running in Windows mode. Okay. Let's try this door first. And we lost. God, I don't like the sound of any of those noises. So these enemies, like I said, I'm pretty sure are just sound- well, mainly sound based. Oh, well, we're gonna close that right now. Um, none of these rooms look good. So we should be able to distract them with throwing shit. Holy fuck. Is this a person? Well... Acres? Ackers? A I think Acres was his name. The 
crazy guy who ripped out his eyeballs did say he wanted to put people into a, sl a slumber? Is that person asleep? Well, unfortunately, this is also a dead end room. Well, fuck me. It's making my my optics wig out though. And of course, we gotta go in here. Alrighty. Now, I remember this vaguely from Cry's playthrough. There is a thing paroling in here. And we gotta reset the, the server, which of course takes some damn time. Oh shit, there it is. It's really hard to see in the dark. I don't know if it's tipped off by my flashlight or not. So that's why we're not going to use it, so I'm sorry if it's hard to see. We just have to make sure not to bump into too much fucking shit down here. Again, we can use items to our advantage if we want to throw shit around, but I'm just going to try and get around with... Oh shit. I think it hurt me. Hence the music. We're just gonna sit right here. Oh no, it's right there. I don't know if you can see it. I think they... I don't think they can see you. Because... Acre said something about ripping out his eyeballs, so maybe they don't have eyeballs either? The asshole is right behind me though and I didn't even realize. Ah, unfortunately when they're near, it also makes my flashlight do that. Ow! Oh, it snuck up behind me. I was like, what? Oh man, this means we're gonna be limping. Asshole, I don't know where he went. He's nearby, I think. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. Please stand by manual confirmation. I don't know where it is. We gotta wait for that stupid bar to go up. And of course we're limping around like an idiot. It's over by the computer now. We're gonna loop around. If it goes- oh no, of course it's going this way, cause fuck me. This game doesn't like me. I adore this game for its weird commentary on the human condition. Oh my god, 28 seconds? I don't know where it went again. I'm going to play off the hope that he doesn't have eyeballs. Oh, another person that's hooked up to random crap. Oh shit. No, I, I could have flipped that switch any time. Please don't be over here. I think he's over there. I think that's all we have to do? I don't remember. I also don't know which way we fucking came from because it's dark as balls in here. Ooh, I kicked something. It's not gonna make- it's gonna make it very unhappy with me. I don't know how big Simon's fucking feet are either. This room is the worst. We're just gonna close that and hope for the best. I know there is a Healy What's It somewhere upstairs. We are going to totally get that because I hate fucking hobbling around. Okay, I'm gonna hope that I did it right. I didn't actually stick around to fucking read the thing to see if we did it properly. We probably didn't. I'm probably gonna have to go back down there again. I'm gonna waste a heal. We're gonna go check in Catherine's room first- well, in the lab first before we heal. 
Good job, Simon. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. Oh, okay. I guess it did work. But it sounds like there's still something... There's still... Yeah, still something... Warbling about. So, you're not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running oh, around? Oh, the dialogue's there. moving on. Now I am. Gee, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. Okay. Which way is the lap? Lap was up here. Okay, we're gonna go mess around. Well, Catherine said we did it. So, I'm assuming that means we don't have to worry too much. Okay, wait, hold on. Where's the healy thingy? It wasn't down here. It was down in the barracks, isn't it? It had to have been because I don't remember it being somewhere around here. We're gonna do that first. Oh, okay. Crouching doesn't help. I mean, we're gonna do our weird hobble run back over here. Or was it across? Was it over here? No, I don't fucking remember where it was. Damn it. Yeah, spooky noises. I wonder what the real Simon would have thought if he knew about me. Right. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. The human Simon. Going by your reactions, I'd say you'd be pretty upset. The thing is, I should be able to just see it in the fucking room without... Oh, there it is. There wasn't anything in this room except for this, was there? Uh... Oh, that's already better. The, just the visuals. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. It helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. I think that, I mean, we've already seen people hooked up to those weird things to keep them alive so it's not really a surprise I guess that it is part of the overarching AI trying to keep people alive I guess it's okay with what we are right now that it's that not throwing a fit yeah yeah we'll do that after I read some of this shit scan log Catherine Nicole okay we're not reading all these names arc project on hold as Strohmeyer investigates the death of Serang Oh, and they even list who killed themselves. I'm still looking for an Allen to go with that one, um, Zeppelin that we were talking to. Robin was the last one to kill herself. Oh, no, she wasn't. Stromile reprimanded me. One more death and we're out. And Guy Conrad fucked it. <laughs> Arc project on hold indefinitely. How many people killed themselves? See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And still no Alan. The thing is, an Alan had to have been scanned. It was Alan, right? I'm pretty sure it was Alan. Schedule. And all these other people were scheduled, but because it was put on hold, that didn't happen. Alrighty. So we should have everything set up over here. I shouldn't have to do too much more. Slot one, check. Okay. There should be a list of people. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. Sarah Lindwall, batch four. National Area Greenlander. She said she said she'd help out delivering the ark. Okay. Mark. Killed himself because continuity. Strohmeyer is really mad, has Titan Security Arc Project on hold. Batch seven, batch twenty four. Delta refugee construct wrangler. He's working for Strohmeyer now. Brandon Wan. Robin Bass. I'm gonna say Bass. Another fucking continuity suicide. Strohmeyer locked me out of my lab again. Oh, I forgot to turn off the damn notifications. Sorry about that. Uh, Maggie Komorebi. We look so much alike. In a different life, I'm sure we'd be best friends. Heather Wolchek. She helped me cut the wave leak for from the helmet. If anything, it should make the post-scanner hangover less severe. Peter Stratsky. 
Strasky was always cheerful and funny as always. Alice Coaster. She said she'd help construct the ark but not carry it to Phi. Oh wait, upload. Let's try this. I didn't see the upload button, my bad. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Like, am I uploading this to Catherine? Like, can she see what I'm uploading? That one won't work either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. Okay, I, already, I know who it is. I'm pretty sure I think it's Brandon here because he's working for Strohmeyer now. So we'll try him. He is the next one on the list anyway, so... Because Strohmeyer didn't get scanned. Very promising. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're going to have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. Um, let's simulate a beach. We don't have a support module, so we won't do that. Let's run it. Oh, there's a stress level up here. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up. Bastard. What? How did I get here? To the beach? Don't be afraid, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chen, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Listen, I really need your help. I need the new security cipher. Dr. Chud? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! Nope, he's gonna lose it. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. Yeah, the water kinda looks it's like poop. Real. This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Stress subject stress limit exceeded. Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean he's a perfect scan, meant for the ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was gonna work. Maybe we can try again. Um, ski lodge then? I mean, we're not gonna do none. I'm pretty sure that would make him even angrier. That wasn't so bad. Nice lucky. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Relax, Mr. Wan. Just keep calm. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? The ski lodge, I calm down. To explain. I need you to give me the new security cipher. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. I'm trying to save a lot of people. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chun, or I'll punch your teeth in. Okay. Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. Okay, so maybe there was something else in here that I was supposed to pick up. Hi, Danny. Uh, we've... Well, technically, we've died twice to that one thing in the sub. We've been knocked out a few times. You, you, everything's basically a one hit kill in this game. Um, but the first time you get hit, you just kind of get pushed over for a bit, and then you can resume as normal. It's the second time that you technically die. Or if you're basically, if you're injured, like when we're hobbling around and we can't see anything. Um, okay, I'm not seeing anything shiny in these, these cases that we need. Okay, so we need to go find something else to pop in this computer and I don't remember where it is. It's probably downstairs where I don't want to go because downstairs is like the fucking worst in this game. Because we've, uh, we've exhausted our options. on this particular setup. Yeah, no, see, I think the ski resort looks looks lovely myself as well and he's just freaking out. Um okay, these are just these are just legacy scans. Those won't help. Uh 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Local scans. Oh, neat. Network transfer. Can't do that. Can I? We already have the beach. Data reconstructed by WoW. Do not use. But I wanna. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Float tank. Water filled steel tank. Sensory limiter. That doesn't sound like that would be a good idea. Scan room. With pilot seat. Better continuation. Not necessary for arc. Copy. Oh, crap. Agreeable exterior chest applied to the arc. I wonder what would happen if we... Oh, okay. So there's like a little hard drive thing there. Let's go pop it out and move some files around. I need this please. Thank you. I wonder what would happen if we'd use the environment from the WoW. I'm kind of curious. Alrighty, there we go. Ah, uh, chip. Well, let's copy this. I want to know what would happen if we used Versailles. Is that how you say that place? I can never remember. Ah, corrupt data! But I wanted to use it! Oh, I can't get that either. I can't get the float tank. Chip already contains this file. Um... Oh, I can't... I can't copy the people? Okay, well, whatever. Let's see if the scan room will be more agreeable to him. If not, I'm not sure what I have to do again. Pop this in... Scan room, run. The thing is, he's just talking to nobody. So bad? This room might really got me worked up, bastard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What? Where did it? Alice? The scan is done. Are you feeling alright, Mr. Wan? Chun? Where's Alice? She left. Mr. Wan, I need you to give me the new security cipher. I'm already freaking Why? out. Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please calm down. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. Ugh. Oh, I don't remember where to fucking get the data. Is there a plug-in thing over here? No, it's just a scan log. Poop! Uh... Also, he seems to know that Wan's scan seems to know something's wrong with the WoW. Because I couldn't scan the scan... I couldn't copy these scans, so... Oh wait, can I... No, so I don't think I can pull out the other drive that I have here. Can I? I can. Scan projector active insert a chip containing scan data. But this is a different setup over here. Uh, pop... Nope, okay, I can't pop it in over here. Can I do anything with any of these? Say so these are just like prop ones. Damaged. So I can't. Can I? Yeah. Okay. These are all broken. So pulling them out is gonna be doing fucking nothing. Do I have to take this with me and like get a different scan? It's not letting me put it back in anywhere. Uh oh. Well, I guess I kind of broke that. My bad. Okay, yeah. This room, I'm pretty sure, is currently useless. We already grabbed the thing that we needed to out of here. And for some reason, I'm blanking on what I need to do. Okay, I mean, I can put that back in. It's not too sure. I need a module. I don't remember where to get it. I think it 
it's further downstairs, but I don't remember how to get further downstairs. Wait a minute, is that a ladder? No, that's just a weird wall thing. I thought this was a ladder. And these stairs are all blocked. Um. I wish I knew Brandon better. What would make him talk? Oh, wait. His room's down here. Unlock his room. I don't think I could get in earlier. Here we go. Oh. Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Okay, only that lock. If you unlock something else, I don't know what I'll have to deal with. Oh, that's if we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Ah, uh, he likes mountains and castles. <laughs> that's not gonna help. Fairchild Award for achievements of the engineering youth. Boats. Let's see what this has to say. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Stransky and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. It seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. Ooh, ID card. Um, security clearance. Why do I see? Is that all I get out of this? Okay. Don't take it. Oh wait, is this Alice? I get they probably didn't have that much time, but it's like they just used the same... Like, that head has been copied and pasted onto a different body for that picture. Oh, that, that one's different. That's good. Paper crane. That's fun. Alright, let's, let's read his diary. August 14th, 2103. Acres finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Creer, and I moved into Theta today. Acres said he'd stick around for a while longer. That crazy bastard. I take my pride in my work. I take pride in my work, but goddamn, that place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. August twenty fifth, did my arc scan together Seems with like Alice. Alice and did their scans together. Oh, oh, we can definitely use that. Strohmeyer told me. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. See, we don't have the lag with the audio now, but sometimes the the subtitles it'll it'll show before it's ready to sync up with the the audio file. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Did my arc scan together with Alice. Strohmeyer told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such an asshole. I was fine at first, but I got a splitting headache a couple hours later. The biggest pain was that Chun girl. She is so fucking uncomfortable at all times it makes my skin crawl. Alright. October 7th. Strohmeyer went ballistic and shut down all, the f all future scans for the arc project. Apparently Conrad wanted in on the continuity and just fried himself right in the pilot seat after the scan. Something tells me we'll be getting new security ciphers. Just heard that the Como Rebi survey team is going to Delta and pick up, is going to Delta and pick up Acres. He's been alone for months now. Can't imagine what he's been up to. Oh, you know, playing chess, going crazy, which I guess for some people is the same damn thing. Oh, he also has one of those neat like origami frogs where you press down on it and it jumps. Ah, oh, I wish it. I wish this game would let me, you know, let me do that. Make it jump. You used to make those all the time in high school. I don't remember how to make them anymore. I used to know how to make paper cranes too, but not very good. Uh, not very good ones. Alrighty. Um, why do I keep getting fucking lost in here? I hate this place. Alrighty. Let's. I, I compiled an Alice module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Okay, do I need to load it? Oh no, you've added it to the computer. Alrighty, let's uh, trick this scan of this poor guy. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. 
Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Strohmeyer. He said he needed a new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I can talk to him. Wait. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay. Do I have to write this down? 17, 29, over 42. Fuck, I don't have a pen. I'm assuming Catherine's gonna remember it. I'm sorry, Mr. Wong. Red. Goodbye, baby. No, wait. Is it that? That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Why? Why couldn't you just, like, end the simulation without making his girlfriend or whatever disappear? Like, that would just be upsetting. Hi, Twas brother. Yes, more scary game. Uh, hopefully the sound is working. Um, well, now, now we have... A, a, a dilemma? We could just shut down the computer or erase the data of, like, the scan. I, I don't know, like, if that that scan of Brandon, like, remembers, like, what we just did to him or what. I mean, we didn't go erase the Simon scan in the other room. Maybe just shut it down? Of course, if we don't erase it, the WoW could use it, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe it'd be better to erase it so no one could... Uh... Mm. I don't know, I don't think this really plays a part in anything. Like, ending-wise, I don't think there's alternate endings to this game. It's just, like, how you feel about the situation. And like I said, I didn't erase the legacy scans. But, again, if I leave them be, the WoW could make more human-robot hybrid that don't know what it is or how to react, really. All I can hope is that the scan got uploaded onto the Ark. But it's like, I don't know if it did. Well, what, what do you guys think? Should I erase it or just shut it down? Of course, Catherine makes me fucking do it. If I erase these ones, I'm gonna have to go erase the other ones in the other room just for consistency. Yeah, we'll say consistency. And I was only saying um, about the sound because I had ex with the setup that we're doing right now to test the audio with, with the game. I'm on my other computer and I accidentally had the audio settings in OBS uh, messed up so the game sound wasn't coming through to the stream. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's erase it. Rest in peace, Brad. That way the WoW can't use it for nefarious means. But like I said, for consistency and what have you, that means all of these are getting erased. That way the WoW can't make any more redundant copies, especially of me. Because this legacy scan exists, that means that that's the only reason why Simon's in this mess. We don't want these people who were scanned in the past suddenly waking up in robot bodies in the future because the weird computer thing went crazy. He's dead, Kat. The real Simon is dead. Oh. And I'm a replica of that scan Munchie did thinking he's Simon. What did you expect? I don't know. I, I don't know what I was hoping for. An explanation? Maybe an apology? Now he's freaking uh, out about it. Uh, I'm sorry. Not from you. I, well, thanks, I guess. I deleted the file, so hopefully I'll be the last Simon to suffer through this place. Ready to move on? Yeah. Let's go. 
I could have ran through that whole thing, but I figured I'd let the conversation finish before I went over to the room that we have to go into. Catherine, couldn't we just have extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow? It's so cruel bringing him back like we did. No, that's in part. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, see, that's why I was trying to take it slow, because I just okay. cut off that whole audio that's cue. It. My bad. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. All right. Sounds easy enough. That. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off. I, I, I don't know where like the audio triggers are for some of the, uh, the conversations, so my bad. Basically, Catherine just said memories don't work like that, at least not the way that the scans work, so it's not like we could just, you know, somehow scan that to find it. It's not just not how, how things go here. Alrighty. I'll press this. Oh, do I have to turn these on? Which way do I turn them? Oh, power button? No. Might. What? The thing's not turning. Okay, maybe that's not the right console. Console? I mean, it's the only one that would let me do anything with it. I gotta lower it. I can't. Oh, wait. No. That's just one of those emergency things that I can't get into anyway. Yeah, I can't get into that from down here. Turn! Why isn't it? I'm honestly trying to turn these things and this is as much as they're going to go. What the fuck? Damn you! Oh, wait. It's not plugged in. Alright, where does this go? Probably near this light. There we go. Now I can press the button, right? There we go. Alright, just, just... Okay. And test, okay. All systems okay, good. Preparing release. Ready for release, releasing it. <laughs> what? Oh god damn it. The submarine was a person scanning a submarine and it went crazy. Damn it, am I gonna be limping now? Where am I? Where oh, it broke the computer. And it Wait, I'm all turned to- Why is the door closed? Ah, I see. Alrighty then, we're just gonna move this over here now. Go out through this emergency hatch. Good thing it's unlocked now. These hatches don't make me feel safe though. I don't think there's anything in the game that follows you into them, but now that I- said that. I probably just jinxed it. Oops, sorry about that. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I don't know where these are- well, that one's locked. Okay. I don't know where these are going, period. Oh, I was like, why do you keep popping up? I guess you can technically stand in that area. Oh, well, we're going the right way. We got an achievement. It says plan B, I think. Because it's in window mode, it's a bit cut off for me, too. Yeah. Oh, shit! Can you see things? Like, walk underneath you? I mean, I can already hear them, and that's not making me feel any better, but it'd be kind of cool just to see them from... 
from the vents. <laughs> Now I'm just going to reiterate what I mentioned at the beginning. Right now I'm streaming through my gaming computer instead of through the capture card on my other computer through the gaming computer because of the weird audio lag that we've been having with this game. Just to see if it's a lag caused by how I was streaming and not just the game. And it seems to be the case, unfortunately. Um, just comp- oh look, a healy thing. Okay, that's good to know. It just kind of makes- well, I don't know if it complicates things, but it's just kind of annoying because like I had it set up that way for a reason. What is this? RX, R2, 1358LM, BX, G2, 000T, what? Do I need these? Are these important? Map. A flashlight- well, I need the flashlight to see it, but it- Shuttle to Omicron, change to HPS, ride the climber into the abyss. Can't read it. Because access. Oh, wait. Three. Check in tau anyone alive. Access tunnel defy. Launch arc. What's this? Hamatsu power suit. Proper usage for the safety of you and your colleagues. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Want two. Check the HPS for any visual damages. Three, starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Four, tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. Five, the suit will start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. Six, if the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still doesn't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. Note, the HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. High pressure diving suits need to undergo a mandatory maintenance checkup before suiting up. Not doing so puts you into risk of oxygen poisoning, pulmonary edema, and death. Edema? Hey look, it's Catherine. Ian Penderson. I actually can't read these because I'm not good with cursive. <laughs> Power packs. Todd's? FST kit, extra oxygen, P2 permission. Or is that Phi? No, I guess that's P2. Or P11. Prep arc with signal transmitter. I don't think I need those codes. I feel like Simon would say something if that was the case. Documents. My decision. I have decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It has been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry, I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Dr. Catherine Chun. What's left? Apply interface module, seal art capsule, ask permission from 4Q, brief Ivanskin, Lindwall, Penderson, and Hill, take shuttle to Omicron, pick up power suits, ride the climber into the abyss, regroup at Tau, head to launch site, load the bullet, launch arc. Oh, I see. So this was the team of people that were taking the Ark down into the abyss, I'm guessing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can plug Catherine in. Sorry about that. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Yep. Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's got to be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? We just read all that. If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. 
There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You don't, you, you don't know? Well, okay, I guess I have to plug that in. Get us on. Oh, he's gonna... How difficult could it be? Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's gonna... I'm gonna have to leave this room. Well, I mean, yes, but... Shit. Oh, I don't even... I could have waited to read this without... Oh, fucking goddammit. <laughs> My bad. That one's just broken. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Um, could you get inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the arc. Okay. Give it a try. It says radiation hazard on it, though. I don't... Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we're kind of a robo, so it's no big deal. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Um, on switch. Oh, yes, it's right behind me. I'm sorry. How, how, Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen. Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway. The Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kat, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into... He's spinning is... Just oh, okay. I guess we're not spinning. It's the thing around us spinning. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. Well, kind of sound. I'm sorry, how is this supposed to work? Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. What I want to figure out, so does this power button also function the same as this power button? Because why is there a power button inside this thing that normally you're only putting inanimate objects into? Like, I don't know, that just seems weird that it... W whatever, I'm just overthinking it. Anyway, we're gonna go play with this arc prototype. That's what we were doing. I'm gonna poke it with this. That'll fix it, right? Eh. Oh, not even close. Eh. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> uh, okay. Approximately 43.75%. 896 terabytes. Well, that's been... That would be nice to have in a computer. Memory corrupt- oh. Well, not if it's corrupted. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. Alright. Ooh. Memory corruption detected. Please reduce memory footprint. Um. Okay, we gotta lose 800 terabytes. Let's see. Physics. Rigid soft fluid. Physical buoyancy, I'm assuming. Something about atmosphere, interface scan. Heat, daylight. Well, let's just do basic vegetation. Um, well, I guess we don't need a bench. Dirt road. Soma hum? I don't know what that means. Well, we don't really need a boat, do we? I mean, if there's a river, though. Chairs would be nice to have. Foliage, sun, clouds during the day. Um, well, I guess if we take away the boat in the river, in a lake. Package Samaham require type water? Turn that off. What happens if we just turn off all these extra objects? Oh, okay, that's too much. Um, let's... Oh, okay. 
least foliage? I'll, I'll give them a bench to s wait. Wait a minute. Sim base required type. Oh, so I need this. Okay, I guess they don't get dirt roads. What? Oh, I need a light source. Uh, I guess they just get a full moon. And we actually need... Oh, we can only have the advanced... What? And we need some kind of water? Ah. Uh, Alright, so I guess they don't get... No heat. <laughs> uh, no, kind of need the atmosphere. We need the daylight. We need the interface scan. We need that. The moon needs fluid physics. The lake needs soft physics. The lake also needs rigid physics. Ah! What do you want me to get rid of? Hold on, let's just- what happens if we just turn all these off? Okay. So, we need this. We need the advanced... Vegetation. We need- I guess that's water mod? Maybe? Whatever. We need the system interface. We need a light source. Maybe not that one. That's not a light source. Light source. But that means we need daylight and heat. Now we need a water type. How- <sighs> River? Uh. Okay, that one. So we need the interface. Why can't I just use the basic vegetation? God damn it. Can't I just do plains grass? If I do any of the water, I I need. Wait a minute. I just need rigid and fluid. Okay, let's see. Heat. Shit. Uh, I, the lake needs the same things. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. River needs fluid and bridged in the buoyancy. The moon... There we go. Say so the moon also needed the fluid physics. Alright, that should do it. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Oops, I don't the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. We could have actually loaded a version assignment onto this arc had we not deleted everything. It's fine, we'll just use the dummy. Yeah, I gotta use the fancy plants. Loaded module system generation veg advanced world time blah 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 start. Am I supposed to pause it or something? When did she tell me to pause it? You need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Oh. Uh. You need to catch it while it's being loaded. Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. Okay. It Hold on. There. Turn on the resource allocation so I don't have to do this. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. Come on. No, try Fucking again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. I 
Catherine? Did it. <laughs> God, that's annoying. Why would they even have it at 100%? Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Well. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Yeah, let's go into the hallways where I keep hearing strange noises. That's totally where I fucking want to go. That's why we're gonna crouch walk over there. Because I'm a coward. Swipe it. Alrighty. I remember this area from Cry's playthrough. I don't want to be in- oh, yeah, I get decontaminated or something. I'm not allowed to crouch while I'm being scanned either. Alrighty. So, of course, getting out of here isn't going to be easy at all. Fuck. I'm sure you guys hear all that. It's lovely. Oh look, they broke the control panel to the fucking elevator! You know what that means, right? We gotta find a thing for the elevator. Security error, please insert connector chip. <laughs> Let's listen to this real quick. Stormer, Brand, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be a hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Yeah, great. Because of that, that means we're also locked down here with some creepy creeps. I don't know where they are. They're also sound sensitive. Just gonna close doors behind us. I think they can open doors, but I don't remember. I'm pretty sure they can. If not, you can lock them into rooms. How the hell are we gonna make sure the Ark makes it? Every launch is a crapshoot. You know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah. Just a pack of data. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure the creatures can somehow open the fucking doors because if not, I'm pretty sure you could trap them in certain rooms in this area. Survival of the fittest. Ah, I hate this area. The thing is, is I hear my own footsteps and I think maybe it's, it's one of the many things that could be after us. I wish I had a map. Okay, mm. we're gonna... I want to do this methodically, but again, I don't know the layout of this place too well, so it's hard for me to do it that way. Okay, well that's blocked off. There's a, a Healy what's it down there, that's good to know. I don't think we can get back into that room that we started in, unfortunately. Let me guess. This is also blocked, because fuck me. Yeah, everything's just broken down here. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna try and stay calm, not freak out. It's really hard to do. Okay, so that's a dead end, but this circles around, pretty much. This room's just open. Is there anything in here? Is there any point to me coming in this room? Paper? No. Really? Like I said, we're gonna... Conference room. Oh! Well, these look... Lovely. These... Images. That's all that's in here are just these weird pictures. Ugh. Okay, well, that's enough of that. We're just gonna go. 
We're, we're doing the left hand the left hand against the wall thing right now. Shit. Oh, straw my office. Okay, well, we're just gonna close that. I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? <laughs> no way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Being the decoy, duh. Back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle and be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See you at the shuttle. Well, little did you fucking know, dude. Little did you fucking know. Also, actually, here is a map. Where am I? Archive, restroom, security checkpoint, main lift. Let's see, we cut across somewhere. Project development hub is where we, hub, is where we came from. We were in the conference room, so security checkpoint, I think, is where we are. We can't get to the archive. Um, I think that's where we are anyway. I'm not actually 100% sure. What is this? Checklist. Survive the arc project. Stop people from killing themselves. Send off C and the team. Keep people safe. Enjoy the rest of Armageddon. Oh, there he is. So, dude over there is what we have to avoid right now. Um, I'm gonna hope he can't open the fucking door. I'm not making any noise right now. So we're just gonna read this. Oh, it doesn't pause. Acres are not alone. At least three proxy creatures. Check and seal doors. Move downstairs. Shuttle to Omicron. Shut up, phone. Alright, so... There's one here. There's one down in the server room. Just gonna... We're not gonna override the door lock yet. Alert dispatch November 17th. Corrupt, November 22nd, corrupt, shuttle station on the 12th of December, corrupt, December 29th, corrupt, January 11th in the machine hangar, huge structure gel leak has caused the WoW to seize control over the Dunbat, forced to quarantine to avoid further development. Last thing we need is another talking machine. Key control. No chip inserted. Damn it. Okay, let's see. This is where we are. Medical laboratory. I think this is where we need to go. I mean, it's locked. Doctor's office, examination room. Um. Okay, so we were in the conference room. It didn't get us anything, so there's no point. I mean, it's fine if we lock it. All right. So, thingamabob is right here. We could cut through the medical lab. We can also cut through the examination room. The doctor's office is a dead end. Storage is a dead end. Did we go into casing? I don't know what this room is. I don't remember if there's anything in these rooms that I need. It's just all going to be lore shit while I'm avoiding big, mean, and nasty outside. Okay, let's see. So if we could get down here, just book it straight down and take a left. I'm pretty sure that's the room we need, but I'm also not entirely sure. Well, all the rooms except the conference room, which we've already been in, is unlocked. I don't think there's anything else in here, and if I... I want to hope that making Opening those doors isn't making too much noise. I kind of want to... 
I kind of want to get a piece of paper and and make my own map and make me feel better. Hold on a second, I'm gonna get a pen. Alrighty, so we're just gonna make a really quick map. So I don't have to guess. So this is us. That's a door. Door, door. Wall. This is a room. Another door. Another door. Another room. But I lock that so I can't get in there. This is another room. I guess that room is just open. Oh, that gray room might be the one that um just has like the hole in it that we crawled through. I'm not actually 100% sure. Okay, I, I don't think we can get back into the room that we came from, but who knows, we'll put it on the map anyway. Just... Okay, I think we need to go here. Also, sorry you guys can't see my amazing map drawing skills, which is literally just drawing a bunch of squares. <laughs> oh, my pencil's breaking. Shit. Okay, that's a room, and then this is another room. Okay, I need to make sure I have... Wait a minute, no. These aren't walls necessarily. They should be doors, because this is that one yeah, because we came out. I think this has a healing thing in it. Then we cut through here, came over here, went into that room, went around the corner, and came in here. All right, and this room, yeah, that had the hole in the wall. That had a hole in the wall. Uh, if I remember correctly. So, there was a health thingy down here. This was a dead end. That was a dead end. Alrighty. I, I, I kind of... I'm just trying to get my bearings. So this is... Dead end. Another dead end. Fucker. Go away. I'm trying to make a map. This is a health... Thing. Go away. Wait, I'm making a map. We're just going to ignore it. Okay, this is a room, but I don't know what's in that room. Alright, I should be able to work with this map. <laughs> Hopefully. Shit, now where are you? So we're going to go out here and go to the room directly across from us, um, is the plan. Where is it? I don't know if opening the doors makes enough noise to, like, attract it to where I am, unfortunately. Whatever. We'll just go. We know where our health thing is. Okay, that door is just locked. Okay. So we're gonna cut through here. Close that behind me. I don't know if that noise is going to attract it to where I am, though. We're just going to hope it doesn't. Okay. Examination. Now, there's one reason why I'm actually going through the rooms. Like I said, there's. Oh, that door is already open. Okay. Um, there's a reason why we're going through the rooms. There's lore stuff. Like this. Isn't this lovely to look at? These weird barnacle shit. So we're gonna touch this. Hide in the corner.
No, that's just him going crazy. So they were trying to do an autopsy on Akers after he, I guess, died or got killed when he attacked everyone else when they were trying to move. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't as dead as they would have liked him to be, or as he would have, it would have been preferable for him to be, because uh, he's still around and kicking. That's why we have these kind of. Oh nope, that person is still alive. Um, if you remember from his rantings back at his hideout, he wanted to hook people up to the WoW to experience the dream that it apparently showed him. They'd still be alive, they would just be in like a lucid dreaming state. So it's kind of like the Ark, only not, because it's- they're- they're living humans, I guess, but kept artificially alive through the WoW and then stuck in just a dreamlike state. Oh, uh, let's see, reader, Acres, January 16th, 2104. Age 66, sex male, one of the worst cases I've seen and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides with structure gel. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. Did he make me- did make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lambda. Could it really be that the WoW is somehow able to change and rebuild the he- Didn't get that finished. Vanessa Hart, age 28, sex female. Heart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances, only bruises and a mild hypothermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult to corroborate her story as she's the only one to return. Chun, Catherine, Catherine, age 37, sex female. As usual, Chung is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here, but Strohmeyer demands another evaluation. Chung isn't obstinate or dishonest. But she'd rather not speak if it can be avoided. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is weak in character, the perfect victim to be domineered and pushed around by others. She's a scared mouse I don't want to upset. So we sit quiet and pass the time. And Guy Conrad, age 41, sex male. Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain to a pulp with a W-rim maser following the ARC neuroscan. Clearly another continuity enthusiast killing himself to take his place on the Ark. Alrighty, I'm assuming this was... Doctor Lady? Okay. Oh, okay, that room is just completely broken. Alrighty, so hold on. Oop, got turned around a little bit. Oh shit. I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, there he is. Shit. I don't know which way to go. Oh, he's going in the room. Okay. Cool. We'll just close that. It's fine. Totally fine. He's probably not happy with me. I think I went the wrong fucking way. You shouldn't run in this game. Okay, we're gonna hide out in storage. Hiding in storage. Oh, and there's another health thingy in here, and another person that's not really alive and not really dead. Okay, I think this is storage. We're just gonna put a little health symbol in here. Maybe he'll go away. Oh no, I actually went the right way around. Shit, did I just see it through the window? Yeah, he's outside the room. He's over there. I don't think looking at them attracts them to you like the other one did. Oh no, there's two people in here. Oh, I hate the wheezing. Crap. Unfortunately though, he's he's going down the same place that we're kind of going down. 
kicking shit around out there. Pick up your feet, goddammit. Oh, you're next to a window. I think the windows are really just around, though, so you can find out where the fuck they are. Oh, see, there he is. He's going... Oh, he's coming back in front of the room. Alright, I need him to come back down this hallway so I can leave. Oh, okay. Or he's gonna go back up behind us. That's fine. That is actually... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the room we need is actually this one. So we're just gonna... I'm pretty sure it's this one. Should be this one. Alrighty. I don't think there's anything... Hey, Brandon! How you doing? Ooh. Not looking too good. Okay. So. I need this, please? I... Sorry? Sorry about before, Brandon. Sorry we couldn't let you rest in peace. Okay. So now we just need to go back over here. Crap, I can hear him. So you pop this in. No. I need to format the chip. Fuck. Okay. We actually have to go all the way fucking back to Strohmeyer's office. We're just gonna hide here for a second. Go out here, turn to the right, just a straight on shot. <laughs> yeah, the ragdolling isn't good. I don't know which way he went. He probably went the way I wanted to go. Asshole. Okay, so yeah, that's the conference room that we locked. See, this is why I like maps. If I didn't have a map of this place, we'd be just be running in circles and I'd be really pissed off because I wouldn't know where to fuck to go. That's why games that give you maps are your friends. Okay, just pop that in there. <sighs> Key control. Update that. There we go. We already did that. We don't have to mess with it. We already looked at the security messages. Of course, now everything seems to have gone dark. Fuck. He's not a pretty looking thing, is he? Yeah, he's do he doesn't have eyeballs, though, I don't think. Go away. I need him to go straight. Nope, instead he's gonna go down the fucking hallway I want to go down. Go away! Crap, my flashlight doesn't go that far. Oh, see, he you just heard him open up a fucking door. What door did he go in? can't see Jack. I don't know where he went. I'm gonna have to hope he didn't go down this way. I think he went the other way. Good, that's fine. I don't know why the lights decided to go out right now though. How inconvenient. This place sucks. I hate this place. All right. It's missing a chip oh fucking god damn it! I didn't grab the chip out of the computer! Guys, why didn't you tell me? Oh. Okay, we're just gonna... Just look down. We don't exist. Shh. Yeah, Traverse Town music would be preferable. I, I don't blame you for that. Just... Give me that. God damn it. Where are you? Ugh, fucking this flashlight is useless. Simon, calm the shit down. 
See, because we learned that we're we're just hooked up to like a human body, we're just robo parts shoved in someone's skull cavity. That's that kind of explains why he still gets like a heartbeat when he's nervous, like when he's, his stress is up. Ah oh, shit! Is it over here? It is, isn't it? No, it's somewhere over there. I don't know where it is. Fuck it. Pop that in. Pop. Something's missing. Okay. And annoyingly, you gotta put those in or else the door doesn't work. Don't ask- well, I, I know this because I do. Okay, there we go. And now we need to go... here. Nope, fuck you! He's mad because we didn't hold the elevator for him. I don't think we need to go in maintenance. I don't remember what's in maintenance. Whatever. We're, we're gone. Um, so, if I remember correctly, there is a jump, kind of a jump scare coming up. Uh, if I, again, if I remember correctly, I'm just putting it out there right now as a warning. I'm probably wrong though, and it, oh, well, shit. Did I pick the wrong floor? I think I picked the wrong. Well, now what do I do? Did I ever grab Catherine? Yeah, I'd open the door. Um. Oh, I say what? I don't think it would have let me go anywhere if I hadn't grabbed Catherine. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I'm pretty sure we grabbed her. <laughs> Oh, that injured us? Balls. Okay, I think there's one more proxy. I remember, the note said that there was three of them with acres. And we've only run into two so far. Oh, that hurt us? That scripted sequence hurt us? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure if we go down here, it's just a dead end. Okay, maybe we don't run into thir the third proxy. I don't fucking remember. Okay, so this door is locked. Yeah, this is dead end. So once I go down this hall, um, yeah, I am 98%. Yeah, okay. Something's gonna run down the stairs and knock me out, and I can't do anything about it. It's totally scripted. So three, two, one, here he comes. We're just. Th there's no point in me running. Just knock me out. He didn't come down- yeah, 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 you're spooky. He didn't come down as fast as I thought he would. I remember in Cries, like, whenever I watched it, it always made me jump. And that's why I remember it happening. Because it was always something that startled me. So sorry for spoilers. <laughs> Again, I know I'm cheating because I've already- I've seen Let's Plays for this game. But, you know. We didn't freeze, I don't think. I hope we didn't. Hi, kitty! Yeah, like I said, I moved my kitty finally to the apartment last night. I've been in here for two and a half months and I still haven't moved her, but I moved her yesterday. And she's it's okay. very skittish. It's over now. Relax. Ashley. What are you doing here? If I remember I Ashley was the person that died at the beginning of the game, technically. Not, or before the game. Yes. Of course. Oh, excuse me. What happened? He fell in love. All right. So explanation. That was Acres that attacked us, and like I said, he wanted. He believed the Wow showed him some grand vision through his dreams. Um, so that's why all those, like, kind of zombified people we came across were still kind of alive, but not moving. It's because Acres had strung them up to the WoW so they could just sleep the rest of their days. It would keep them alive, but in, like, a, a 
coma like state where they would just sleep and be content hopefully with whatever dreams they ended up having oh great are we still injured no okay there we go i can see again properly so acres came down that was the door that we we went through acres just came down knocked us out and tried to put us in like a a warm little wow cocoon i i guess um, but we said, fuck that shit. We got things to do. See, he wanted to make us like this person. Even though we're like a robot person hybrid thingy. My bob. Okay, there- I- I lied. This is the area I'm pretty sure that you run into the- the third and final proxy. Yeah, I can hear it actually. He's somewhere over there. Okay, can't go that way, can't go that way, so I just opened that door for fucking nothing. Oh, it's right there. Fuck. <laughs> My bad. Okay, hopefully he'll just walk by the door. Where are you, buddy? Oh. Shh, gotta be quiet. Where'd you go? Aw, oh, did you just go back? Oh no, you went over there. Okay. That works. Be careful not to hit that bucket. Oh shit, we just hit something. I wanna go in here. I'm just gonna close that behind me. Oh, this place doesn't look much safer. I don't actually remember where I have to go here now. And I don't have a map. Which for me is the worst thing ever. I don't think we need this, but I'm my I think my vision is just wigging out because um proxy buddies over there and I can't fix that I don't know that does seem better what is this oh no that's just it wants me to pick the tool okay we're gonna do the dumb thing and crawl through here I don't think they can follow you through these though the game's not that mean so I just wish I had a fucking map because I again I don't remember where I need to go Right now, basically, if you can't tell what I'm doing, I'm just going towards any door button. Oh fuck. No. No, 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 no. Nope. <laughs> I need a map! <laughs> I want a map. I don't think he noticed me though. I think we sprinted a- Wait, didn't I open this one? Oh, I see. They close automatically. Where are you? No, I don't want I don't want to go out. I just wanted to peek. Okay. So, apparently you can go around that way. There he is. So the door we tried going through apparently doesn't do anything. Or just part of the loop. God, you are an ugly motherfucker. You don't get to see the models very well in this game because of how dark it is and the fact that your vision wigs out whenever you're looking at one of these things. But... I mean, the designs are horrifying to look at, but they're also really cool. Um. Oh. Okay, my cat just scared me. She has one of those scratching pads and she just started scratching at it. And at first I thought it was my fucking door opening. My mom and sister have a key, so sometimes they just, you know, let themselves in. It freaks me out a little bit. Oh shit. He was going in the door I wanted to go in. I think that's actually the door we need to go in. Nope, 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 nope. Get Simon, get your dumb butt in there. Okay, we're just gonna wait here for a second. The music ramping up usually means that you got too close to- Yeah, cats and scary games. Yeah. A oh, kitty, you can scratch it. She's sitting there like she's upset that I said something. Even though she's a cat and she can't understand my words. Ugh, go away, you asshole.
I'm pretty- I'm- I'm going to guess that the door he was going through is the door I need to go in. I really wish I had a fucking map! Okay. Let's try again. We'll just go straight this time. Can't see... Oh, come on! Let's go down here. Oh, it's a dead end. Fuck. Okay, well, we'll just... <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Where are you? If the limping wasn't a thing, I, I keep si sitting here thinking, it's like, maybe I should do what I did on the submarine a few streams ago and just let them hit me because it just starts you right where you get hit and then just run like tank the hit I think he goes around the loop I don't know where in the loop he's at though so we're just gonna go if he hits me he hits me that's kind of my unfortunate philosophy in this game at the moment again though I don't remember where the fuck I need to go. Everything is dark and looks the same. I'm gonna assume I've never opened this door. Of course, I have this habit of... Why does it feel like I'm going around in circles? No, the other one didn't curve. It was just a straight shot, wasn't it? I'm gonna pretend this is the right way, because I don't actually know. I know Amnesia the Dark Descent didn't give you maps either, but I feel like that was a little bit more straightforward. It's so hard to see. Oh, another not dead, but kind of dead asleep person. Apparently he's... Oh no, he's not nearby. It's... Ooh, and it's making weird noises. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I've been. Okay, maybe I need to stop closing doors behind me. Another strung up person, that door over there was locked. Before, didn't we start out here? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I do have my flashlight on, it's just hard to fucking see anything. Okay, well this is just a giant loop. This door doesn't seem to open. <sighs> oh, here we go. go. So what did that do? I did a thing and I have no earthly idea what the fuck it accomplished. The light situation isn't any better. Oh, this door's open. It's unlocked now. Security door unlocked. Okay. That felt a little bit counterintuitive. Like, I... That didn't seem... Oh, well, this place looks great. I guess we're just dropping down, huh? <laughs> Ow, fuck. Fortunately, Simon doesn't float very well. This is a ladder, right? Okay. 
I think like messing with that should have attracted like enemies because of the noise you were making, but he was off doing who knows what. No, I was expecting him to. Sometimes... I don't know. I guess, like I said, also, when I played through Amnesia, there was one area that's supposed to be, like, really spooky and- oh fuck. And hard. Because, um... Oh, man. Oh, no. So, please don't say that was enough fall damage to really mess things up. Um, but, like, in Amnesia, there's one room that has a bunch of the one-hit kill grunts in it. Er, enemies. I don't remember what they're called. Um, and it's kind of like a maze. And I just got through it by looking at the ground and following the wall. So I don't know. Maybe I'm... I mean, I wasn't fairly decent at dodging enemies on the submarine, but it's like, in, in certain instances, it seems like I'm... I'm okay at just getting out of the way. Again, I, though I guess I'm kind of cheating because I, I have seen playthroughs of this before, but still, they, they kind of give you hints on what you're supposed to do with the enemies in this game. When you run into the first enemy with Catherine, she's like, don't look at it, it makes it mad. Oh shit. Ah, no! I don't want to be down here. Fuck. I don't know how I slid off that platform. I don't even know if that's the right way I have to go. There's so many ladders around here. But it's like with the proxies, it's like, uh, Catherine reads a note. It's like, the, they hear you. Like, they, they, they tell you how to, well, avoid the enemies. You don't deal with them. This is a frictional games game. You don't deal with enemies. You just keep away from them. Damn ladder one more time. Alrighty. But the the one thing, like I said, that doesn't help with this. I'm pretty sure in Amnesia, didn't they give you a map? I I feel like I remember there being a map in Amnesia. But it's like in this game. It's like, yeah, you'll find maps on computer screens, but you don't pick up anything. So unless you did what I did just a little bit ago, you, you kind of have to memorize the the area. Um, where, where am I supposed to go now? I think I need to get over there. This game is not built for platforming, though. Like, at all. Well, let's see. The light's shining over here. So if this game's following good game design, the light's going to point me where I need to go, right? Yes. Even though now we have taken enough damage for our vision just to be wonky. And I'm limping. Fuck. There, I don't think there's a- there might be another spoop down here. I don't remember. Oh good! Look, they give me health because they- know how annoying this fucking is. Uh. I don't know. Either way, I, I wish they gave you a map because a lot of the things down here kind of look the same and it's so dark that it it just makes life difficult. Oh, well, okay. So, that switch obviously attracted the monster. Oh, fuck. But you get flushed away by scripted thing anyway. <laughs> so it's it's fine. But yeah, it's like with the underwater theme <sighs> again, I guess Castle Brennenberg kind of is that what was it called? Was it Brennenberg and Amnesia? I don't remember. It I don't I don't think I got lost as easily in that game, though it has been a while. This game it's just so easy with how dark it is. Oh, a person? What happened? What did she do? Run! We gotta get her out of there! Holy shit, Hawk blew up the O2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel! She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Oh shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron. 
Shit, it's bad, real bad. Oh, fuck, no! Oh, damn. At least it's a little bit easier to see out here. Like the lighting when you're actually out in the ocean seems to be a little bit better than when you're in any of the buildings. Of course it doesn't help in the ocean everything of course does look the same because you're under the fucking water. It's like oh yeah look at this neat right. coral formation. Let's find Omicron. You can only keep them you know distinguished so much. I don't think these are m mines. I think they're like... Oh yeah, and if you notice with the fishies, they have little glowy bits on them because they too have been affected by the, the wow. I think this is where we need to go. At least there's a path. We can run. I don't know why I'm walking. There's not much to look at except these weird balloony thingies. Don't worry, even though the fishies have been affected by the wow, they don't hurt you. Not these ones, anyway. The most we have to worry about when you're out in the ocean are just robots that are looking for structure gel. So the WoW makes its creations using robotic parts and structure gel and like we kind of discovered a little while ago, Simon's body is held together with structure gel. So some of the robots that you come out here, well, you encounter out here, um, they, they crave it, I guess, in a way. We're gonna go towards, um... This giant circular thing, I think that's... Well, it might give us a clue on where we need to go. I think it might just be lore, I don't remember. Substation 3, I think it said? Whatever. Yeah. I don't know if we want to crave that tasty jelly, because that's what made Acres go crazy based off his autopsy. You're not supposed to eat it. Oh. Power failure. Oh, okay, good, we did pick up Catherine. <laughs> Scan. Oh. Wait, hold on. Gotta hack the ship. Maybe. Oh wait, manual override. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Open valves, pressure pump. Okay. Now now they're not red, so I can actually activate them. I want to say I think we're past, like... No, we're not. We're not past the worst of it when it comes to some of the enemies in this game. And again, I know that's kind of coming off as spoilery. But... The proxies I... <laughs> the proxies are fairly easy to, to avoid, in my opinion. You just try not to make a lot of noise. There are worse things coming up. I remember that much. Oh, okay. I guess we manual overrided it. I can stop trying to scan that. Alrighty. Anything good in here? That didn't sound great. Oh, here's another person. What? I'm not getting anything. I can't read him like the others. I don't know why his head's intact. We'll just put Catherine in, it's fine. What? There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron. The big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? You got nothing? Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, wow. So, okay, I guess... Yeah. How are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking... Oh, dog, circuit talking, puzzle. Being human. It's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? Maybe I should have looked at this first there. before I toss it off. Really Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. 
Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body. But you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now. Wait, did I get it? No. Oh, you only get a certain number of blowouts? That's interesting. Kath, why do you think I was made? Why oh, was AI well, they stay bring me blown out, I guess. I don't think you could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Fuck. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, oh, the WoW sorry. started to compensate. Okay, that it's one's... Restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Okay, those ones are broken, so don't turn that one on. This one isn't. This one isn't. That one isn't. Catherine. That one isn't. Are we alive? That's, That's an impossible broken. question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. What? Just figure there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. Oh, don't I see. I'm using up too much of the us. power. Oops. I never realized how much Going the idea to... of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. Not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto. Oh wait. I know Shit. Who I am. Okay. I'm supposed to take it from that end to that corner. I'm doing this completely wrong because I'm an idiot, and I feel like this power puzzle isn't that intuitive but I also didn't read the panel before I fucking tossed it off all right let's see that's broken you're not though are you no so but ah, those ones are shit down 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 you you there we go Toronto's a nice city. I wouldn't mind going back to visit. I have family up there. It's just been a while since I've gone up there for anything. I used to go up there for, uh, well, the first anime convention I went to was up in Toronto. Black box status. All of them are offline. Hey, look! Alan! He was the one that was in that Zeppelin from last stream, I'm pretty sure. And then he stopped talking to us because he was perceiving like he should be drowning because he probably should have been, technically. System updates. October 9th, 2098. Update enables black boxes. Failsafe CRTH4 Carthage implemented. Why is the screen going wonky? Uh, July 11th, 2099. Standard X4B extension. Area calibrator. Diagnostic tool for post impact contingency plan. Don't know what that means. Stuff needed to make the crane work again. All up to Alan now. Unnecessary security update for the paranoid lab rats. Dead people don't bite. Huh? Okay. Well, dead people could bite if a stupid robot thing brings them back to life. Alrighty, what is this? Radio buffer Omicron. Let's see what this is. Do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. Can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of. So I'll talk to you later, OK? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. We saw one at the beginning. 
that wasn't installed. Let's see, Omnicron. Status quarantined. Okay. Oh, what? There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Alrighty. You. Well, I couldn't data mine him, so I don't know what I'm trying. Alrighty, well, I didn't. Oh, I can't I even move that far when I'm data mining. Alrighty. Anyway. Any idea who this is? Not really. Not that familiar with the people at Omicron. Um. Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? 9909. Okay. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back of a van? What are you talking about? The computer glitched out and gave me the code because of mystical mumbo creepy jumbo, alright? That's what I'm talking about. 9909. Yeah. Lockdown cancelled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. You haven't had to deal with spoopy things, Kath. So that's what the problem is. What's the problem? <laughs> Alrighty. So, oh, um. Sweet. No, I know there's at least two annoying enemies left in the game. I just don't remember when and where you encounter them. Obviously it's eventually, but that doesn't tell me jack shit. At least my memory, it's like, god damn it. Alright, so... I think this is the building we need to go into. Yeah, it says Omicron right above the door. Oh, another dead person. What do you have to say? Hey, come on! Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky, it's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're alright. Jonesy? Jones. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Well, we unlocked the door so we don't have to do that. Probably need to close that. And a swoopy swipe. I wonder why they are in quarantine though. Mech malfunction, use all. Okay, never mind. I guess we have to go to the annex because the fucking door broke. I don't remember where the annex is though. I'm going to assume it's down here. So we're gonna go down here. That looks like a path. Why couldn't the- this doesn't look like the right way. We're gonna try it anyway. Um, why couldn't the creepy- This better be the right way. Thank you, Simon. Why couldn't the creepy thing that hacked the computer to give us the code, you know, unlock the fucking door? That would have been nice of it, maybe. If it really wants me to come in, it could make sure the door that it had me unlock wasn't fucking broken. You know, just a thought. Oh, there was a ladder there. I didn't have to jump down. Oof. Alrighty, swippity swipe.
Okay, door open. Oh, That's oops, fine. sorry. Had to load. Well, this place looks safe. Um, no, I lied. These people all have their heads blown up. Meaning I'm... Yeah, we're not going to be able to read anything off these, are we? Because if I remember from the thing we saw for the black boxes, it goes in your head. And if you don't have a head... What is this? Global lockdown active override at dive room console. Okay... South Hall FB. Again, if this thing wants me in here so bad, why didn't it unlock the fucking doors for me before letting me in? Oh boy. No storage permitted. Okay, well that's fine. Robot repair bay. Dispatch. Containment. Dive room. Okay, well... Why heartbeat? I mean, yeah, I heard something, but I don't remember what's in... Uh, yeah, that doesn't look safe, does it? Okay, hydroponics, containment F1. Hi, Cthulhu monster. Go away now. Thank you. That was supposed to happen. He's not spoopy when you know he's supposed to happen, unfortunately. Um, so... Spoilers, that was... That was who... Who was so nice as to unlock the fucking door for us. Pressure chamber. Can I go in there? Why would I need to go in here? I'm curious. What's in here? Anything? Nothing? Okay. I'm more concerned that we can't see it anymore, to be honest. Yeah, um, I think he, well, we've seen other monsters that were able to teleport. I think he's able to teleport. We'll find out more about him later. That's not Akers, who knocked us out earlier. That's a different person. That's kind of been corrupted by the WoW. Uh, he's using- the WoW is actually- well, no. I don't think the WoW is using him anymore. He actually knows what he's doing. We don't actually have to worry about him, he just keeps telling me I need to go stop it. It being the WoW. But we're not- we can't do anything about it where we are. Alright, so this should be the dive room. We're gonna close that to make me feel better about my life. Ah, I can plug Catherine in too. Neat. Think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something crazy else. For Cocoa Simon, Pups. please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Okay. So it's not gonna be that fucking easy. Ooh, pitcher. Oh look, it's Catherine, I think. Oh yeah, no, this would be the same team that we saw the picture of last time. They're just in the pressure suits now. 
Well, we've already read that. I'm not reading it again. Ooh, tablet. Power suits tested and ready. Jasper confirms. Omicron scans are in the art. Catherine confirms. Loaded equipment and extra- What are you waiting for? Find a power suit and let's get on with this. Shut up! I'm reading the thing! Loaded equipment and extra rations. Even skin confirms. Evashkin? I don't know how to read that, sorry. Climber calibrate it for real weight. Alan confirms. Crane operator ready. Alan confirms. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. Eames confirms. Takes two days to get down there? Hey look, here's an extra Omni tool, Catherine, if you're worried about your one urine breaking. I'm sure we could just pop you in there, right? You know, this one has like if there are any weird wow left, goo. They should be in the locker. All right, I'm going. Activate terminal. Well, it looks like D is the one I want. I have the screen turning on. This is this another thing that I wonder what that's about? Oh, I don't. Okay. Found one! Ah! Really I found Herbert. one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. I don't know if missing her head is the right word. It sounds like the stupid thing twisted it off, but all right, Simon. Whatever you say, buddy. I don't know why my vision's going wonky again. I thought we healed. Also, yeah, charisma would be a th hard thing, though, I think, to work on if you were a human turned into a weird underwater Cthulhu monster by a weird AI. Matsu power suit. Uh, HPS information. A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 degrees C to negative 75 degrees C, while keeping a steady 40 degrees C default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up well, one atmosphere, I guess, up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's, monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. Usage. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that lock the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory sens systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. Controller. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. That's... hmm, that's interesting. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Oop, I wanted to hit back. HPS tracking. So we're at Omicron. There's something in the climber station and something made it to Tau. I'm guessing that's what that means. HPS activation. Pod E. Power suit missing. Power suit missing. Okay, so we need a pod D. Error found with suit. Exactly Attention required. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel. Powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're Hooray. Right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. Cortex activity. Of it's course not it's not working. It doesn't have a head. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the arc. So we need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Wait, why isn't this door open? Nubble? Oh. Oh, now it is. Wait a minute. Hold on. We have to go back out there, I'm pretty sure. What's through here? Airlock. Oh, well, we can't go through the airlock without our suit and without Catherine, so we can just close that. Anyway, we'll do we'll do this uh, this interesting shopping list next time on Friday, because it's almost 10. 
and I don't want to get too involved in something. This seems like a good place to stop anyhow. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I'm going to have to search up something about this audio issue. If not, we're just going to have any, I guess, any PC games I play, I'm just going to have to do it through the gaming PC. And I don't know. It's a bunch of technical mumbo jumbo. I'm not going to go into it here because who cares? <laughs> um, so like I said, I'll just have to look that up. We'll see what happens on Friday. Uh, but we'll be back on Wednesday for more of our train wreck of a Nuzlocke. Because I still don't know how the fuck we're going to get through that one. Which should be interesting. Um, so until then, uh, have a good night. Take care. Stay, stay, blah, blah, blah. stay safe. I'll learn how to speak by next time, hopefully. Um, and have a good one. Alrighty. Bye.